Alrighty, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to do the video for the BRN 180. This is going to be uh, not the last video on it, but it should be fully assembled today. Other than that, it just needs uh, probably switch optics. Um, I'd like to put a nice LVPO on it and then it's going to end up getting Cerakoted, which... Uh, should be pretty sweet. Um, I'm still debating. I I really want to do it uh, flectarn, like the German flectarn, but I'm also leaning towards that tiger stripe a little bit. I got the flatline fiber um, tiger stripe sling on the way. And it looks pretty sick, so uh, I guess leave that down in the comments what you guys think. I learned that uh, if you haven't Please like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs, and like I always say, the only way that'll happen is if you do it. So, all right, let's get to building this lower and get this thing done. Alright, so I guess uh, to start, I'm going to go ahead and install this uh, V7 magazine release here. Um, I don't think I'm going to show actually how you install any of this stuff, because I know YouTube gets a little weird. Um, there is videos on here you can watch if, if you're not sure on how to do some of this. Um, Anyways, I'm going to try to keep the time down on this video too, so I'll uh, get this thrown in and we'll keep going. Alrighty, uh, mag release is installed. It's, uh, I like that button a lot actually. It's uh, pretty good, pretty good machining on it. Looks pretty good. Uh, threads were nice. Real simple, easy. Um, I guess... Uh, let's go ahead and get this trigger thrown in uh, I mean this is extremely simple drop in trigger can't go wrong so alrighty the uh, CMC trigger is installed um, this is my first drop in trigger so I never really realized just how just how simple that is especially with the screws instead of uh, pins well, you have a pin, but it's threaded on both sides, so. Um, it feels real good, too. The, uh, I mean, there's, like, no take-up on it. But, let's leave that up. Yeah, so, uh, I guess while we're on triggers, let's go ahead and get this Seekins Precision ambi or, uh, safety put in. All right, be right back. All right, so we got the uh, trigger in, safety's in. Need to, uh, there is a little bit of side to side movement here. I don't know if maybe the the Brownells, the BRN 180 lower is slimmer right here than a mil spec, but uh, yeah, there's a little bit of play there. Hopefully, once that detents in there, there is no side to side movement. So, um, let's go ahead. We got the BCM Gunfighter. This is, I believe, yep, Mod Zero. Um, get this thrown on. Oh, and then we got, obviously, our uh, safety pin and uh, spring in there. So, all right, get that thrown on and get right back with you. All right, we got... Uh, we got our trigger in, we got our safety. I set the safety for uh, just the 90 degree for now. This does do, oh, what is it? 60 and 90 degree throw. Um, so I just set it for that for now. It's pretty stiff, needs broken in, but um, you can see right here. So if you had that beaver tail, like on a regular, I have a Magpul grip inside that I would have used, but 
it would work. I tried fitting it before I even ordered all this. Um, just know that if you do get the BCM grip, they come with two of these. These go, which way does this go? Something like that. It will not work on this lower. You won't, the grip won't be able to come up high enough. So now I drop that, it can stay down there. Um, so yeah, all we got left is, you can see this trigger. This trigger is so light. Three and a half pound. So, nice stuff. Um, alrighty, we got, we got takedown pins. And the stock. Oh, and the bolt catch. So uh, let's let's go ahead. We'll do the bolt catch next. It's the CMMG zeroed uh, zeroed bolt catch. It's a nice big. Uh, I guess you'd say it's an extended setup, but should fit. Yeah, it'll fit. Let's get that thrown on and get this thing done. Alrighty, uh, got our bolt catch on. This was the CMMG. Um, I suggest putting some tape on here. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass getting the pin started, holding the punch, and then trying to hit it with a hammer. You're probably going to hit your receiver. So throw some tape on there. Just makes it a lot easier. Or not easier, but nicer afterwards. But all right, let's get uh, let's get these guys put in. These titanium take down the uh, mean arms titanium pins here and get the stock thrown on and we'll be all set all right something real quick on these takedown pins um there oh i guess there isn't on this one <laughs> on this front pin here you got let's see oh that's kind of tough to get out of there On this front pin, you got that hole right there. So basically, you set your spring in. You put your pin sideways, so not not up and down like this is right now. So you'll have it either 90 degrees either way. Um, start it. You put your detent in that little hole when it's still out here. I just took a uh, real small Allen wrench. Anything that'll fit through that hole. Push it in, turn your takedown pin, and it goes right in. So, pretty cool. Um, now, let's see. Uh, oh, I got to pop the grip off. That's what it is. So, they got their uh, detent for this one, I think, back here in the grip. So, I'll get that done and go through. Alrighty. So, I just wanted to show this real quick because I didn't realize this in the beginning. So down in there, you have the detent for your safety. Normally, on a normal AR, you'd have your buffer tube back here, and that's where your rear takedown pin spring and detent will go in there. Obviously, we don't have that. So BRN-180, if you're building one of these, I, that's going to be your hole. So you're going to drop your, your detent and your spring down in there, and then put your grip on. So just wanted to show that real quick i didn't realize that beforehand so i'll get that done real quick and get this thing done all righty got everything on here um rear takedown pins in these are a little stiff right there. there we go but like i said uh that's how you're gonna do your takedown is spring and detent under the grip just like a like on a safety so let's get the stock thrown on and uh, it's going to be our last part. I'll just throw the grip covers on that upper real quick and be all set. Show you it all done. Alrighty. So it's all together. Um, Midwest stock. Super easy to put on. Obviously, it's just one Allen right there. Um, in order to use it, you lift up. It's kind of awkward trying to do it in front of this camera here. So you lift up, and I was trying to fold it the wrong way. 
and it's got a nice positive lock up right there um, touches the little rubber deal on the uh, upper there and you can mount this um, obviously there's like five slots like five pick slots on there I just went kind of in the middle just see how I like it and if I need to I can move it up or down so um, other than that this thing is actually sick <laughs> I uh, threw on those slate black covers there. I thought these were aluminum. They're actually a polymer of some sort. I don't know. But anyways, I mean, they're light. This whole gun is actually extremely light. Um, obviously, there's a lot of parts that aren't on it, like a buffer and all that. Um, I'll show you this trigger here. This trigger is, I mean, there's nothing. It's, yeah, I mean, I mean there's absolutely nothing there. It's, It's crazy to me. I mean, like I said in the beginning, I always just run mil spec parts on these. But this one I want to do different because it's, a, I mean, it's a different gun here. But overall, I mean, I'm really happy with this actually. All the parts worked. Um, I'd like to get a weight on this thing because it is. Just ridiculously light. Let's see if I can get it to stand up here. But, anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, expect some more videos out of this. Uh, gonna get it Cerakoted. Still don't know what way yet. Um, other than that, I mean, if you're not. I would suggest doing it. Go to Instagram. I'll leave a link, my uh, name on there. That's where I post a lot on there um, of all my stuff, all my gun related stuff. This is definitely going to be on there. But, anyways, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Any questions, leave them below. I always answer them as soon as I get the email but yeah stay tuned this thing's sick <laughs> see ya